Hello, this is Mr. Huff. Let's take a look at this force over time curve. This is pretty typical of what we would see in some stress testing situations. We normally see an elastic zone, a yield point, and then this inelastic zone where it's being um, deformed. And then the ultimate strength would be about in here somewhere. Uh, notice you also have the um, deflection or displacement down here, but we're mostly interested in this upper curve. All right, so let's zoom in on this a little bit here. A little thing, a little bit about vernier graphical analysis. You have a couple of buttons here. This is a zoom tool and this is an analysis tool or the graph tool. If you click on this, here's lots of things you can do. Uh, we are going to be using the uh, view statistics. I'll real quickly do a curve fit just for fun. So anyway, here we go. So what I want to zoom in on is this region right here. So I'm going to highlight this zone and then hit this zoom. And now we have that. Notice how from about here to here, the behavior is fairly linear. And we can go in here. And if you wanted to get fancy, you could have put a curve fit on there. That is a linear um, y equals mx plus b. So we can click apply and now we have the formula and the values for that linear fit. So that's kind of fun to do. But the point I want to call to your attention is right here. Do you notice right here is where it stops going from a straight line and it starts flattening out. So what you need to gather from here is at the yield point what the force is here and then what your displacement is. So this would be 60.9 newtons and it's going to be uh, 7.69 millimeters. So that means it was pushed down about 7 millimeters. Okay, So that's what we're looking at there. Now let's click on this and see the whole curve again. Uh, the next thing we need to find is the ultimate strength. And that happened in here somewhere. So I'm selecting this section to make sure I have the highest point in here. And then I'm going to choose the graph tools and we're going to view statistics. And it pops up right here. We'll need to scroll a little bit. I'm looking for the maximum force value. I think I need to make this show me just one graph so we can see everything. That's better. So, and close that. So now I can see I'm looking for the maximum force. Don't confuse force and time. There's my max force in this range. It's 93.37 newtons, and that happened at 92 seconds. All right, so that's the other thing you need. This is called the ultimate strength. So from this, we found the yield point, which was about in here somewhere, and then the ultimate strength, which was right about here. Let's look at one that is not so great. All right, so you can see that this one is a little more interesting. So if you look at this, I'm going to just kind of pick on that. So right here we can see kind of that elastic zone. There were some things happening here. Things were coming unglued and slipping. So it's not as set in stone. Uh, to me, it looks like this is the yield point and that's 203. And if we do a statistics view review of this zone where we can get everything that clipped above 200, we're going to hit this view statistics. And again, I'm going to switch this to one graph and that way we can see it a little more clearly. Um, we can see that the max was 206.5. So at, in this case, the yield point and the ultimate strength were practically the same number and it would have happened about in here or somewhere so that was at uh, 67 seconds so around in here is where that ultimate strength happened but the yield point was probably right in here so in this case we had a lot of breakage and reorganizing of itself and then some breakage and reorganizing so this one is not as easy to interpret so uh, for our analysis, we're, I want you to find what you believe to be the yield point and report that and the displacement at that point. But the one we're going to use for finding efficiency is going to be the ultimate strength. So you just need to find the highest force in your graph for that number. All right, that's enough for now. Let me know if you have any questions.